Hi there! We're gonna learn how to animate objects when the conditions are met. The goal is here, if you put all three objects into the trigger zone, the star will spin. Go to your watch and click on home, then backpack, and press use on the makeup pen. This is our workspace where I explain the process and you will see some magic. Open your makeup pen menu by looking at it, and click on the palette. Then click on shapes. You can use any kind of shapes, I'm using this one. By pressing onto tools, then turning on the snapping, you will be able to bring out a bigger shape. It depends on your snapping settings. When the snapping is turned off, you are free to shape your object however you want. I'm using free object in this video, but you can use as many as you wish. Now we need to split your objects. While highlighted, click on Edit, then the button Select and click on one of the shapes. Click on the Option button that will bring out more options for you, then press Split Shapes. Do the same with all the other shapes so they are split from each other. Your last shape will already be split, so click on Center Pivot on Selection. Then press edit and select the others and you can do the same with the pivot point that shows you the center of the object. But look, you cannot grab them. We need to solve this problem. Press configure and click on the object. Scroll a bit down in the settings until you see the option is grabbable and turn it on. You can do the same with the others as well. Now select all of them and move them out of the way as we have some circles to do. Now click on Palette and go to the search bar. Type in Trigger Volume and we are looking for this. Click on it and bring it out. Let's go to the tools and turn the snapping on to use the grid. Turn the snapping off for easy movement. I'm going to bring out one of my inventions that will be animated if the conditions are met, that we set up. Now go to the palette and in the search bar, type list get count. This will count the objects that has to be in the trigger zone. Next, we're gonna bring out equals that we need to place on the board and this will be the part of the condition we create. And an if to create the link between the trigger zone and the animation. Let's also not forget the animation controller itself. Let's give some text to the objects and the trigger zone, so when the objects enter, the trigger zone can recognize them. Click on configure and individually select each object to apply the same tag to all. While I remove the other two objects from the video, please be aware that I have still assigned my tag to them. Enter configure mode again and click on the trigger zone. Assign the same tag to the trigger zone in the filter by tag field, matching the tag your object has.
Now let's connect everything. Click configure and let's put in the number of objects into the value of the equal chip. I have three objects that need to touch the trigger zone to meet the condition. Lastly, connect the top of the animation controller to the object that you want to animate if the conditions are met. Now click on Edit and click on the body of the animation controller to create the animation. And add a new keyframe and move your objects however you want and add as many keyframes as you wish. Tada! Could I ask for your assistance, please? Look, we did it! Now, if we take out one object, the animation will still go on as we need to connect the part else on the if chip to tell the condition what happens if all three objects are taken out of the trigger zone. We did it guys! Remember, instead of an animation, you can use a go to room chip with the destination room constant to change the result. Let me know if you want a video on that. See you later!